What's up everybody? I'm Nick with Magic Multirotor and today we have the LD Power Racing Edition 2205 2700 kilovolt motors and as well as a set of LD Power 20 amp ESCs. Now LD Power is more of a new company. They have been building brushless motors for a good while now but this is their entry into the I guess race motor market. Um, let's take a look at them and see how they perform. Okay so inside the package nicely foam line little box here. We have the four motors. Nice lovely blue anodized coating. And again they are 2205 so they're a little bit wider but they should have a similar mounting pattern to the 2204s. Looks like oh three maybe four inches of wire so not as long as some of them but then again this is for a mini race quad so do you really need that long of wiring? You've got your hardware package. You got four sets. Each one comes with a lock nut, oh, mounting screws, bullet connectors, like three millimeter, and heat shrink. And then all that beautiful packaging for the motor and the ESCs came in your standard uh, electrostatic, anti static bags. These motors are fairly light. Um, they look great. I have a little armaton frame I'm going to mount them on see how they perform but I've read some good reviews. I'm still doing a little research but about 27, 28 grams. There's not too much information out there yet but it's coming. My only concern is that these ESCs I haven't been able to identify them internally yet. They don't have BL Heli on them and the company hasn't responded to me yet but I'm gonna have to run default programming and see how they work out. So, beautiful motors, nice packaging. Let's see what they look like put together and see how they perform. Man, those are pretty. Well, here they are installed on the Armaton SCX 200 Cobalt Edition. Decided to go with the matching blue on blue. It's good looking motors. They fit great, work well. Everything's nice and smooth. I've been running them for Oh, it's been about a week now. You can see the 20 amp ESCs. I had to do a little bit of adjusting there. I had to resolder the cap on the PDB and shorten up some wires. I never got to actually figure out what firmware they're running because it was all locked up and they didn't want to tell me. But I will say for a uh, proprietary default program, these ESCs are pretty nuts. I mean, it's not Brussels Heli, it's not one shot compatible. But even with that stuff out on basic beta flight, I think it was 2.6, it, it still flew incredibly smooth. Tons of power, tons of torque. The sound of these motors is absolutely just, it's, it's not good, but it's ridiculous. I mean, you watch a playback video and it's just screaming high pitch in your ears. Um, they are 2700 kilovolts, so as you get towards the end of the motors, or the end of your throttle band, you start to feel it drop off a little bit. I'm fairly certain I have them overpropped. Uh, on 5 by 50 30 by props, it's pulling about 22 amps. On these, you lose your max thrust at around 3 quarters throttle. I mean, you can tell. You hear it bump up and then instantly just start running down. So I, I definitely have them overpropped. They get pretty damn hot, but you know what? They keep on kicking. Uh, I guess if you were to run them, uh, if you wanted to run them optimally, you'd probably have to run a way lighter prop or a 4 inch prop. But, I mean, on this thing, it's a freaking rocket. I'm getting, like, two and a half minute flight times, and they just, they keep coming back for more. I mean, I haven't broken anything, haven't damaged anything. I've crashed plenty. <clears throat> they turn the props like no other. I mean, it, it's just that sound is absolutely incredible. I am running 4S on this. It's a 1300 Nanotech 4590C, so I'm putting them through their paces, and they, they do. They're just, they're gluttons for punishment. They keep on coming back, so... If you're looking for some beastie motors, um, and you you have the space for the 20 amp ESCs, go for it. But I mean, otherwise, the motors alone outperform. Uh, they, they perform on par with most of what's out there. I mean, they're not they're not the fastest by any means because again, I'm over propping it. But they are definitely great motors. They're definitely a good price. I mean, they're going for sixty one dollars a set right now, which divided by four is fifteen and some change a motor. ESCs were about $12 a piece, but you got to find them in a package deal. You can't find them individually. 
Still not a whole lot of specs on them out there, but I mean, on the default programming, it ran phenomenally. I mean, it's not, it's definitely not a multi-shot on race flight type ESC, but it definitely handles very well for the price. Uh, so would I recommend these? Yeah, I, I would. I don't really know what niche they'd fit into. I, I couldn't say for a specific person this is exactly what I would recommend you, but these are definitely some high quality motors that are way underrated in the market right now. So if you ever get the chance to pick some of these up, or you want to blow a little bit extra, or you just see them and they look like a good deal, definitely, definitely give these a shot. They're wonderful motors.